Hi, this is Mary Ellen with Porkets of Me, and today I'm going to do a really quick video because I'm so exhausted right now, but I've been putting this video off for a month, but I really, really want to show you the books I got in my second ever thriftbooks.com book order. I purchased a stack of books through Thrift Books, and I'm excited to show you what I got. Most of these books I did request in very good condition. I only requested one in good condition. As you can see, I already opened these up, so I did take a peek at the books. And I have to say, I wasn't too impressed with this book haul. But let me show you what I got, and I'll get into detail why I wasn't as happy with this purchase as I was hoping I would be. In this haul, I got a total of seven books and I paid $24.14. And the reason why I did a thriftbook.com order is because they were having a sale on their website where you got 15% off your total order. So I thought it would be a perfect time to do an order and check them out and see what I thought about the quality of the books. Since I really do like books that are in good condition, six of the books that I picked were ones I picked in very good condition and I picked one book that was in good condition just to check it out and see how it would come. I noticed after I placed my order that my confirmation email showed these little symbols here and at first I was like I think that means they're library books. That was kind of a surprise because I really didn't want library copies and when I chose these it didn't say they were library copies and the description next to them says those are very good condition so I figured well I'll give it a chance because sometimes you can get library copies that weren't actually used in the library because libraries get an abundance of books and duplicate copies of books so I thought I would hold off my criticism until I got the copies to see what the condition was that they came in so let's look at these books that I got Again, if you're new to ordering through thrift books, two things that are different than when you order through Book Outlet. The first is you can place all your order together and pay for all the books at once, but they won't come all at once. So you'll get separate packages depending on where they ship out of. Thriftbooks.com has multiple warehouses throughout the U.S., so depending on where their stock is from, that's where the package will get shipped from. The second thing is you can choose the condition of your book. There's different levels you can choose from, which is new, like new, very good, good, fair. I'm making those ones up because I normally just do good and up, but there's some other tiers below good as well that you can choose from. Okay, so the first package that came, I got two books in them. And these ones are library copies. So these ones said very good condition and they are this one here is Passenger. I don't know if you remember or not, but I had purchased the second book, Wayfarer, at a recent Barnes & Noble haul I did, and I'll put the card up here so you can check out that haul if you're interested. When I got home from that haul, I realized the book I got was the second book in the series, so I needed the first book in the series, and luckily, Thrift Books had it. So this is the book I got. Again, library copy, you can see the sticker. Uh, the inside shows the checkout paper, but other than that, this book is in really good condition. So there's the first book that I ordered. The second book I got in this package was In Quiet Grave, and that's this one right here. This one is also a library copy. You can see the scan when you check it out from the library. And this one doesn't have any stamps on it, and the inside doesn't have any papers on it. So I would consider this a very good condition book. It does have the sticker right there on the front, but that's okay. I don't mind that. So overall, very good condition. This book is about a gentleman in the 1930s who is an attorney, and he is an African-American attorney. And he attempted suicide, so he got placed in a segregated insane asylum. And part of the therapy, the psychiatrist is asking him to reminisce about his past. 
and he brings up the case about a girl who was murdered and he had to defend a white man. So it sounds very interesting and that's why I got it, but this is the second book that came in the mail from Thrift Books. Okay, here is the second package that came in the mail. And this one had one book in it. And this one is volume one of The Flight Engineer by James Doohan. So those of you who saw my recent haul that I did, I had found the second book in the James Doohan series that was signed at a garage sale. And so since I'm a huge Star Trek fan, that was such a great discovery to find that book in a yard sale as signed copy that I had to complete the series just because it's James Doohan. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a card up here and that way you can see that haul if you're interested. But this is the first book in the series and I'm looking forward to adding this one to my collection. Okay, another package that I got from Thrift Books. And this one had one book in it as well. And the book that was in it was, or is, The Madman's Daughter. In the darkest place, even love is deadly. So there's this book here. I believe I got this one in good condition. Let me check my thing here. Yes, this is the, only, the one that I got in good condition. So this one, I think it's actually in pretty good condition. I think the reason why it's considered good is because there's writing inside, but it's a signature, so I don't mind that at all, even though it's to somebody else and not me. So it says, for Carrie, thanks for everything and enjoy the madness, and then the author's signature. So that's a nice, pleasant surprise. Okay, so this book is about 16-year-old Juliet Moreau, and she's trying to rebuild her life after there was a scandal about her father and some weird experiments that he's been doing. She finds out that he is still doing those experiments on a tropical island, and so she wants to investigate to see if those rumors are true about what kind of experiments he's doing. So it sounds very mysterious and interesting, and so I'm looking forward to reading this one. And again, this one is considered good condition, but I think it's a really nice book. So I'm not, not disappointed in this one. And my last package that came through Thrift Books had three books in it. So these are my final three books that came in the mail. And again, all of these should be very good condition. So the first book I want to show you is that collection again that I did from James Doohan. And this one here, it looks like someone was selling it because <laughs> it has a sticker here. So maybe it was a discount store. Um, so I'm not disappointed in this one. This is a pretty good book in a pretty good condition. That's the, I don't see anything wrong with this one. So I'm really, very happy with this, but this is book three and the flight engineer. So now I have the complete series and I can put that on my shelf and maybe one day read it if I feel like a sci-fi novel. The other book that I got that I was a little disappointed in was Anti-Goddess because I got this one in really good condition, but it has stamping. The pages are yellowed. It has that discard stamp. It has the stickers all over the cover. It came with a page that I tore out. It was covered in ink and checkout dates and stuff. I didn't like it. So I kind of tore it out and then I taped the... <laughs> tape the book back together. So I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in this book. It's not really in very good condition. I would consider this good condition because of that, because it's actually stamped on the edges, has stickers on the cover, and it had that first page I tore out because it was ugly. Um, it even has like, you know, writing here. This is, I think this is the one I'm disappointed in getting. It's not in bad condition, it's just that I paid for very good condition. So it feels like I paid more than what this book is actually worth. But I really do want to read this book. It's about the Greek gods and it's about Athena. And there's some disease that is affecting the gods and causing them to spit out like feathers and they're dying and it's the story about trying to figure out what's going on and of course trying to save the gods I figure but it sounds really good so I want to read this one and this is the another book I got through thrift books and the last book I got 
was this book here. And this book is the second book in the series. This is the sequel to Reboot. And this one is called Rebel. And this one I'm not going to go into detail because it is a sequel. I got the first book, I think through Book Outlet. But I could be wrong. It might have been a thrift book. But I think it's a book outlet. I don't know. But I'll check my videos later. But this one I ordered in very good condition. And looking at it, it looks like in good condition. It doesn't look like there's any stains. The pages aren't torn. So this one actually is not a library copy. So this one is in good condition. So I'm happy with this one as well. So looking back at it now, I don't think I'm that disappointed with thrustbooks.com. I think everything is actually pretty nice, the copies. The only thing that I was a little discouraged about was those library copies because they are labeled as very good, but they have stickers and discard notices on them, which to me would be more in the good range. But I am not disappointed at all with this shopping spree I did at thriftbooks.com. I do have to say though that getting library copies like this and some books that have a writing in them, buying thriftbooks.com kind of feels like buying from Paperback Swap. And I'm going to put a card here with that link of my review on Paperback Swap and what that is. But basically you're swapping books with other book lovers and all you pay is 49 cents. The person who sends you the book is paying the shipping and you don't really get library copies like this or you get secondhand copies and it's 49 cents. So to me right now that is a little bit of a better deal to get these books on paperback swap. The only drawback to paperback swap is not all the books are available when you want them. At least if when you shop thriftbooks.com, you know you're going to get the books that are highlighted on their website. With Paperback Swap, there's so many people sometimes requesting a title, it can take about a year or two to get the book that you want. So I don't suggest it if you want the book right away unless it's already in stock and it will tell you on the page if you're going to get it fast or not. But the quality of the books from shopping both thriftbooks.com and paperbackswap.com seems pretty much about the same. But I, like I said, since I buy paperback swap books, I'm not at all disappointed by these books. I think these are great books to add to my library and I am so excited to read them when I get the chance. So that's it. That's my review of my second time shopping on thriftbooks.com. Will I shop on thriftbooks.com again? Of course I will because their prices are great and like I said I got seven books for $24.14 free shipping and that averaged out to about $3.45 a book which isn't bad for a hard covered book that I've been wanting to read and adding that to my collection. So overall I'm giving this shopping haul a thumbs up. If you are a frequent thriftbooks.com shopper, please let me know. Leave a comment below with your experience on shopping thriftbooks.com. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate that. And like always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I try to post a video at least once a week and I do book hauls, book reviews, TBRs, tag videos, just all things book related. So hopefully you can join me in my next video. Thanks again you guys for watching. Have a great morning, day, evening, or night and I will see you in my next video. Bye! It's not in bad condition, it's just that I paid for very good condition. So I felt like I paid more than what this birth than what this book was actually. What's the word?